What up, what up? What up, guys? Matter Country Song Teacher. Hope y'all doing well. God's doing big things in your life. I say this often. Let me remind you again. Don't forget to have fun. This instrument can be a little stressful. We all don't play as good as we like to, right? But don't forget to have fun. Got a fun little jam here for He Played What Wednesday. People say, man, sometimes they'll rock me. He, that's not a country song. If you're just tuning in on Wednesdays, I do a little non-country. And a lot of y'all like these more than other ones because it's kind of some classics, that kind of thing. So we'll go over to the intro at first. For the verses, I mean, for this verse and chorus, we're going to do a regular D chord, which is third, bottom, and second. Lift a good job in the city. go to an A chord. The way I transition to that from a regular D, keep your ring finger on that second string and press the two middle strings with your first finger. And show the bottom five. Big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary. Now I go to a B minor. Listen, if you're a better man than I am, do that bar chord. You bar the second fret, then play the second, fourth, and third. Like that. If you can do that, great. Like I said, you should be teaching me more than me teaching you. What I do, you'll see me do this little cheat, little hack. Play an A minor, which is second, fourth, and third. A regular A minor chord slid up to the third and fourth fret and strum the bottom four. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Like the D. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. So let's go over that front right, real fast. <coughs> So uh, where's my Celsius? I've been up here since uh, six six forty five at my farm, uh, chopping wood. If you're not following me on Instagram, just country song teacher, you saw I've got a humongous wood pile. My boys and I have a little firewood business, McCoy Boy Firewood, and it's about to, what the heck? I'm gonna hit my tripod. Come on, who's my editor? Cut that out. Whoo! Y'all get old one day. Y'all get old one day. All right, regular D chord. What I'm gonna do? I like to do these little. I'll kind of strum, then take my outside hand and stop. So, strum, stop, strum, strum, stop, strum, stop, strum, strum. Kind of gives it like a musical dimension, makes it sound a little cool instead of just down ups. Get to the job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep. Worried about the way things might have been. See, so instead it goes down up all the time, just do down strums. You kind of stop those strings. Even if you go slow. Even if you got to stay steady, just be slow. Again, a regular D chord. Lift a good job in the city. Working for the man at night and day. And I never lost for a minute of sleeping. What about the way things might have been? Give the A chord. Just go whoop. Instead of the third string, press it the two middle. Big wheels keep on turning. Be my proud Mary, keep on burning. The rolling, rolling. You'll see me do this too. Sometimes that D chord, I'll take that middle finger off the bottom string like this. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Let me throw this in there real fast for free. I don't know if y'all are aware of this. When I do these lessons, anybody can just type up and look at the chords. What I try to do. When I'm, I, I, you know, obviously I try to keep things, I'm a simple man with a simple plan. I try to give you, we're going to start calling it a CST tip, country song teacher, CST tip. I'm going to give you some little tip of something I do um, that might can help your playing, add a little bit of dimension, spice it up a little bit with each lesson. So instead of just saying, here are the chords, here's the how you strum it, have about your way. I'm going to show you some little tip in each video, like I said, that can help your overall playing. Um, but this is the one that, that, that will string stop and still key. But also, on the D chord, maybe hammer that third string or for a regular D and then the D chord without the bottom string. Big wheels keep on turning. Now, real fast here with my, my iPad before it dies. Um, on that little intro. Oh, no, he didn't. 
<clears throat> but I'm doing a regular C chord, which is just like I said, gonna be a little more a little advanced for y'all. Second, fourth, and fifth. Some of y'all like I didn't know he knew a regular C chord. I probably don't, but here. Now I'm gonna do a regular A chord, which is third, fourth, and second. You kind of cram all your fingers in there. So let me zoom in here. That's why I got a chair with wheels so I can kind of improve my lessons. So go. So strum, strum on a C chord, stop, then A. Then you go C, A. Then lock in the two bottom strings, fifth and sixth for G. And then an F chord. F's gonna be, I I'm telling y'all, I played for years and could not play that F chord. So if you're like in year one or two, three, and you can play an F chord, I promise you you're better than I was. I still struggle with an F chord. If you press those bottom two strings, then third, fifth, and fourth, again, you can bar chord, and I'm just awful at bar chords. Um, but you just, so C, C, A, C, C, A, C, C, A, G, F. I got it mixed up. Jim, guys, I'm working on. Um, if you've seen my karaoke song book right there, karaoke 25 hits of volume one, I'm working on volume two, and it's going to have songs like this. A lot of my he played what Wednesdays. So, some of y'all purchased that already, so thank you so much. And as you know, I don't know when you're watching this, a Black Friday here in whatever 10 days, I've got uh, a Christmas song book. It's up for like six years. Everybody said, When are you gonna do a Christmas song book? When are you gonna do a Christmas song book? So, this Friday, I decided to do one. So, look for that this Friday. Christmas song book. Going to have about 20 hits. Easy to play that you can sit around. Hey, what a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Had to put Jingle Bell Rock in there. All right, guys, go to countrysongteacher.com. Thank you all for supporting me so much. I can't ever say that thing. I can't ever tell you that enough. I hope you're on my newsletter. Uh, I'll send that twice a week. You probably got one this morning. So thank you all for tuning in. Until next time. Subscribe. I always forget to say that. Subscribe and like and share. Let's go. God bless you.